Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithali.com and today, oh my goodness, I forgot to bring it, but today I'm going to be sharing with you three cards using the beach day. I think it's just a perfect set and let me see, I think, oh here it is, I'm like, I think I have it with me here, but this is a stamp set which is uh, a really cute one. Um, you can see lots of uh, items for you to color. So um, the sentiments are really nice. One says sending sunshine your way, which I think is great. Uh, wishing you a beautiful day, happy birthday, and enjoy today. So I think this is a good one just um, to send cards just because, or maybe for those of you having birthdays um, in July. So I think this will be great. Um, so anyway, there is, uh, like I say, there is a die set that coordinate with these. By the way, this is an, it's not a new uh, a stamp set. I think it was released last year. I don't remember if it was in the mini catalog before or what, but it's not new, new. Um, but I think it goes really well with right now with us being on summer. But um, so anyway, so this is what I wanted to share with you. Now, really cool die set. You can see there's a lot of elements for you to recreate the little, I don't know what it is, like a watch house or like a guard or whatever, you know, like a, a lifesaver shaft. Uh, I don't know. What is this called? Um, so anyway, so I was thinking, uh, we could do some of those, uh, cause you could, you can see, you just die cut those pieces and it, it is like paper piecing. There are uh, some palm trees and of course there's some other images for you or th some dice to cut out the different images. So definitely very versatile as far as set, you can do a lot of things with it. Um, and so anyway, so I just wanted to play with it. The other thing is that this is the bundle that is featured in the next card club. So definitely wanted to share that with you. Um, and also, if you are on your catalog and you're thinking, where is this? Um, there is a small section where we have some of our, uh, how does this go? Like uh, returning products, if you will, or carryover uh, items. And so you can see here, page 75, it is this one. So you can see it here, the stamp set is $20 and the dice are $34. So definitely a cool a cool set to have. It's no longer on a bundle pricing because again, it's not new to this catalog and typically only the items that are new are on a bundle, which by the way, during this month, bundle uh, stamp sets and dice, not this one, but other ones, um, the ones that are still on a bundle pricing has an additional 10% discount during uh june did i say may it's june so all june so anyway so that's what we have today um so anyway let me start seeing uh who's there oh hi pot <laughs> how are you let me also connect on my other phone just to make sure i can read comments um that way it's a lot of um, it's a little easy. By the way, Sonia, thank you so much for sharing. That always helps me. So thank you. Thank you. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. I feel like this is a really good, uh, set. And, um, so anyway, so we'll see. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Estella. Uh, and again, thank you so much, Sonia, for sharing it. It always helps. So if you have any friends and crafty friends, please do share the video. That always helps me a lot. Um, hi, Lorraine. Um, so anyway, so as far as classes go right now, let me just show you. Uh, I have two classes going on. Um, one is um, with the... What is this called? Let me just think about this. The Frames and Flowers, which is part of... Hi, Angelic. Which is part of our live class that we're going to be having at um, the Great Scrapbook American Convention. Oh, it's a great American scrapbook convention. Sorry, I say that I, I, <laughs> the other way. And so um, that one is going to be, I believe it's June 21st. It's going to be live. It's going to be in Denton. So if you are local and you want to go ahead and sign up, please go Google um, Great American Scrapbook Convention and sign up through that because the classes through them, um, I, 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 that class has to be registered with them, right? Uh, for the live. Now we are going to also be sharing a link to register for those of you who are not local, who wants to have the to go option. And this is the one that is all about phone folds with the, uh, what is this again? Frames and flowers, um, designer series paper, which is really nice. And we paired with the 
ooh, let's say or some saying, something like that. I don't remember right now the stamp set, but it's the one for the sentiments, which it's a great one to have. However, you can substitute with any other sentiment that you might have. So this is it. And on a previous video, I shared how they open. All of them are really fun, new fun folds, which I'm excited about. Um, and so I'm sure you're going to love them. So anyway, so that's that as far as classes. And again, this is an in-person one. And there's going to be another option for you to sign up online with us. And this is a class that I am partnering with Jennifer because um, we do that convention together. <laughs> All right, so the other thing is Card Club. And like I was saying, this is a class that is featuring the Beach Day Bundle. So let me just show you here how they look. Uh, so you will see how beautiful this look, right? Very um, bright and cheerful. And I did pair it with the Full of Life Designer Series Paper, which I think it goes really well. It's like bright, cheerful just perfect for right now. And like I said, uh, you have really nice sentiments on this stamp set and you can even make them all birthdays. Like if you have a lot of people who have uh, birthdays in the summer, I think this will be a great one uh, for those of them. Um, so anyway, so that's that. Um, now for Card Club, it is $45 already with shipping included. And you can read more about that program at creatingwithali.com forward slash card club. I, um, like I said, it is a kit on a regular basis. It is a subscription. So once you're in, you're in until you cancel. Um, and of course you can cancel at any time. There's no hustle, no, no hassle, no, no, you know, no issues with it. Um, but when you stay with me for six consecutive months, you get an additional, uh, goodie bag on your six month. Um, and also every kit that I send every month is usually about 20 to $25 worth of merchandise, plus a kit to make the five different cards, a PDF with pictures, measurements, and then links to the video tutorials. Um, cause I love sharing video tutorials mainly cause then you can see exactly how everything is put together. Um, so anyway, so like I said, that class is, um, you can sign up at creatingwithali.com forward slash card club. The other thing that is important is for you to get the June card kit. It is between now. So it is, what is today? June, June 10, June 11 today. So June 11 through July 7th. That's the opening period. If you sign up by July 8th, then you're going to be getting the August. Oh, I think this is the July kit. So you will get the August kit. Okay. So that's how it goes. And then it is shipped around... Uh, the 20th of the month. So this is the July kit. So it will be shipped around July 20th. Okay. I am working right now on June and um, the June kit was the one featuring the country flowers. If you remember, Oh, let me do this real quick before I lose these things, but um, it was the country flowers. And so we are already cutting for this one and this is going to be shipping around the 20th of June. So Again, if you sign up right now, please know that you're probably going to be waiting until July 20th to get the kit. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, also, when you sign up, make sure you go back to the same page and then uh, fill out the Google form because that's where you're telling me where to ship your a kit. Uh, a lot of the times you sign up through PayPal and then that's it. <laughs> and, um, and I don't really like using only the PayPal address because you might have changed locations and not had a uh, updated account. There's no way for me to know that. Right. So anyway, um, Pat about bingo. Yes, I am planning a new bingo. I don't have it just yet. I think, I think I'm going to be using, um, a kit with butterflies. Uh, so stay tuned. I will be releasing it that. And then the other thing is I think probably next week I will be, um, uh, releasing my next, um, what is this? Oh, a stamp along card class, which I just started designing. I might be going with like a beach theme, not this uh, stamp set, but the other one that has the, how do you call the, I don't know. It's like, it's like round, uh, shells. I don't remember right now the name, <laughs> but, um, but I think I'm going to go with that one. I just have been playing with that. Let me see if I can find, oh, here it is. So I think the next stamp along is going to be, here is Seaside Wishes. So, uh, I might be using this one and it is the one that coordinates with the Seaside Wishes, um, 
hybrid one. So this is going to be that. And I think I'm going to be also pairing it with the sea turtle. Just because, again, since it is um, June, July, August time frame, I feel like we want to start. Oh, sand dollars. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> um, I think it would be great to have something like that. And I've been dying to use this one since, like, forever. I think... Um, this set got released last year, I think, and I'm not kidding. I've not even used it, so <laughs> I got it because I really like how it looks, and I haven't played with that. And then this year, I got this one, and I was like, oh, this looks like almost the same vibe. It gave me the, almost the same vibe as the Sea Turtle, so I'm going to be using that one. Um, so I think that's going to be the next stamp look. So like I said, I'm just starting designing, so hopefully I have it ready by next week so we can release it. And then it might be for the first week in July, so I'll release it at the end of June. And then we go from there. Um, and like I said, bingo, I just need to... <laughs> right, Angelique? Uh, and then bingo, like I said, I think... I was just looking today at um, the website, and I noticed um, that we have still some of the butterflies kit. And I thought, oh, wouldn't that be great to do, like, alternative cards with that kit? Um, and so I might be using that one, Pat. And so as soon as I get the kit and start designing, then I'll release the next bingo. But I think I think that's what I'm going to be going with because um, I just thought those butterflies looked really nice. So anyway, so yeah, Angelique, like like you say, it's crazy, right? Like, we're sometimes we get the, the things and we're not using them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like I'm not stamping. Like I stamp every week, and even then, I don't have enough <laughs> enough time, I guess, to go in. So anyway, so okay. Uh, hi Flo, hi Susan, hi Tina, hi Cheryl, uh, hi Paula, hi Christine. <laughs> so so okay. So let's just go ahead and get going. I literally just finished. Um, what am I saying? I just finished. Cutting out some of the pieces because, um, let me just be here. Let me just put the, flip the camera and then I'll show you here. Cause you're going to see like full transparency here of what I do always. Um, let me just flip the camera and then go from there. By the way, as always, we are going to be, I think I'm going to be using this one first. Um, so I'm going to be. No. Well, yes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip the camera. But um, anyway, we'll, we'll go. I, I think I lost my thought of um, my train of thought, I think. Hi, Gail. Um, all right. Oh, yeah. So as usual, uh, we have uh, our host code. And as you know, when you purchase with me uh, using the host code between now and what it is, June 15th, the Saturday, um, you'll get the key to make the cars that I'm showcasing today. Now, I don't know if you notice or if you know, but this paper, which is um, from last annual Kettle of the Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper, is it still available. I thought this retired and it's not, which I think is great because this is one of my favorites. I think the colors were amazing. And so I decided to use for two of the cards this head and um, this paper pack. And then for another one, for another of the cards tonight, I wanted to use the, uh, what is this called? The Mediterranean Blooms, believe it or not. So I've used also this one, but because there's some pieces that have blue, so I'll show you that. And then the paper that I use for, um, which I don't even know where is it here, um, but I use also the Full of Life for the ones for the, um club so as you can see even though this bundle is not part of a suite right you could easily oh what am i doing here let me move these things um you could easily pair this stamp set and dies with any of your papers right and i feel like if you go with bright colors will be nice um and also with like the blues, of course, or even with, um, I also thought, to be honest, when I was playing with this, I also thought about using like the country, country wood. I think country wood would also be kind of good because it kind of has like a beach uh, vibe on some of the papers. I thought, oh, maybe that one. So definitely play with this and see 
what other papers so this is why i wanted to kind of have different options for you because like i said i wanted to have uh, a different vibe if you will the other thing i want to share with you is anytime and i think i've shared that but whenever i start designing classes i the first thing i do is i start stamping and cutting out like i only know okay i'm gonna be using bright colors for instance right and then i go and say okay let's just stamp and you know color and do whatever just without really knowing what I'm going to be doing. Well, I end up with some leftovers, right? Because that's what I do. <laughs> and so I had several of these already, uh, already kind of like that. So I said, well, why don't we use this to make a class, right? Since I already have all these pieces and you're going to see um, this one. So all my, uh, what is this, sword boards are already made. Um, but this is very easy. Like this is just a stamping on any of the colors. So I'll let you know which colors it is, but you're going to see, I'm just using whatever I have left over from when I was designing that class, because that's really what ends up happening. See, see, I already have several here. So that's the only thing, uh, here that kind of already done, um, all the surf tables. So I'm not going to be spending the time for that. And in some cases I already have those, but I'll show you how to assemble the, palm tree which is a glue dot there um so anyway but um but like i was gonna say is mm, i think like once you have all your pieces then it's just easier to play within the sketch or anything like that and then it goes much uh faster and whatnot so anyway so let me get also crumb cake i felt like i wanted to use crumb cake so give me a second either crumb cake and the early espresso so i'm gonna bring that one and crumb cake and um oh and then i also need memento for maybe for this one i think i thought i have more of those and i think i only have the one so i might be i might be cutting more of those you know because i do like that one um so anyway so we're gonna go from there all right so here are the first things and just to make sure you know how to put those two together let me bring one that doesn't have those pieces so I have one here and one there. I'm going to change that one here. Um, and then I'm going to bring the other cream ones. I uh, that cut this in granny apple green and lemon lime twist. Okay. So let's just see what I have. So on the set, what do I do with the set? Oh, here. On the set, the palm tree, you have like two different ones, okay? So you need to be die cutting. Hi, Mary Ellen. You just need to be die cutting those, um, both of them, on each of the colors. Now, you can do all granny apple green and uh, all in lemon lime twist. In my case, because I had both, I decided, okay, let's just put one and one. But, of course, you can have them all the same color. It didn't matter, right? And the only thing that you're going to be doing for those is you're going to bring a glue dot, and we're just going to stick one in the center and that's it. See? So not like I thought this was, was very, very easy. Um, so not too complicated. I'm going to put it here just in case. And there we go. See? And then the same thing here. So how am I doing this? There we go. Yeah. All right. So you just want to be kind of looking. There you go. So very simple, right? As you can see, nothing too crazy. I've already, so these were lemon lime twist and granny apple green. I do have two of these, um, trunks is that what it's called i think trunks from the pine tree no it's not a pine tree the palm tree and these are in pecan pie uh we only have one i wish we could have gotten more of those because i did have to cut a lot of those so um i had um you only have the one here sometimes i up give you multiples this is not the case <laughs> they only gave us one of everything so it was like okay let's just cut one on one so um then i cut out this one um and white and it is this and then this one is this little thing and again i don't know how it's called it's like uh, where the lifeguard is you know i'm thinking now this is exactly the same but i only cut it 
the top section and I'm going to be cutting out because if you've noticed, there is like a line here. So I'm going to be cutting those pieces out and I'm going to glue it here. Okay. Now, in full honesty, I think it will be easier if you cut out these with, uh, what is this called? Mm. The adhesive sheets. So then it's the stickers. But of course, I forgot to do that. So we're going to be using our Tombow for that. Um, then you have this section and this is this die. And I did it on pecan pie. And then we have, uh, I did two of these little circles to make the, how do you call this thing? The, the whatever they use to save your life. <laughs> Lifeguard hot. Okay, maybe. I don't know. I don't, like, all, like, every single time I'm learning new words with these new sets. <laughs> so anyway, so we have these and how do you call this thing? Um. I know the word in Spanish, if that works, but it's like whatever they throw you the water um, so that you don't sunk, right? So they just put it there. Um, so this is, so I had it into um, a sort of afternoon and then I did the, oh, it's called a tower. See, I didn't even know that. Okay, this is a, oh no, hold on. Which one is a tower? Is that a tower? This one is a tower? Oh, maybe. So what is this thing? How do you call these things? The... The life is not a life best, right? Whatever it's called. Life preserver. Oh, thank you, Christina. So this is a life preserver. I was like, this is not a life best, but I, I heard that word before. Okay, so those are the ones. Um, and then I have my car base, eight and a half by five and a half, just regular base. And this is in the blueberry bushel. And then I have these two pieces from the bright and beautiful designer series paper. And this is one by four inches and this is two by four inches oh lifeguard tower okay that makes sense see like i was like uh it is like a i was thinking it was like a lifeguard shaft or something like that so okay that makes more sense so it's a lifeguard tower there you go thank you i would like i know i know exactly like what this is for i guess like the guy who is watching everything is right there <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, how do you call that thing? I have no clue. <laughs> but thank you, um, Gail. You're always so great. Um, anyway, it will be interesting if down the road in a year, I remember all these new words, right? Some of them I have. I, yeah, I have. Some of them I do I do remember. Um, sometimes I'm like, uh, I forgot again. Uh, so anyway, so here is this. Um, I was thinking I could, um, now that I said that, I thought I wrote it in but I didn't so give me a second um so this is a sketch that I've done in the past that I case from uh Marisa Alvarez from I think it's a ki kitchen stampers right I love her uh the way she designs I need to save this so this is the keeping tabs punch and this comes um on um punch or you can get it as um what am I saying? As a die set. I think that when it is a die, it's only like one section. And then as a punch, you still have it as a graph. I like the punch for this one because then I can have tabs. And I like that option. Um, and so I I think that maybe I can have like a little something here. So let me just... I don't know if this works. We'll see. And if it doesn't, then we don't need it, right? Like, you know me. Like, honestly... Um, I am always on the fly. So anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead. See, and I only need this section. Because I thought maybe we can put something like this, right? Like a little tab here. See? Something like that. Now, like I said, this is a um, layout that I case from uh, Marisa. Her, her thing goes like this. I mean, it's not exactly like this card. Like, I know. But the... The sketch is like that you have two pieces of paper. There is one here. I didn't want to put the here one because I want to have my uh, palm tree somewhere there. So I felt like this was going to, I don't know, not really help the design. And instead of having a label here, I thought, well, I have way too many things going on right here that I don't think I need a label and then that, you know. So we'll see how it is. So it's a little bit of a modification, but that is where the idea came. All right. So... But I do like the idea of having a little something extra right there. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and and see, I'm going to just put it right there. Because it's just some sort of element right there, right? Um, and then I have a piece of 
what is this color crumb cake and this one is i believe it was one and a half let's see or one and a quarter yeah one and a quarter by four and this is gonna go right here now for this one Oh, thank you, Gail. You're so nice. Um, okay, so what I was thinking here is I want to put the sentiment, and then I want to have these uh, shells, you know? There's, like, seashells uh, across, and then have this one here, which says, wishing you a beautiful day, and then the palm tree. The other thing that I did not, but I probably on this one I might have to, I might want to have this grass. So maybe we die cut a few of the grass, um, because I didn't have enough... I didn't do that, so maybe we can do that. Hold on, give me a second. Um, and for that one, I was thinking we could do uh, Granny Apple Green. So let's just cut a f like three of these things, or maybe a couple. Um, let's just cut out those. Um, by the way, the die cutting machine, so this is a great thing, thank goodness. I'm cutting out this one because otherwise I will have forgotten. But um, the die cutting machines, both the large and the small one. Uh, so this one and this one in Boho, they're still Boho blue and they're still a white one. Um, these ones are on a 10% discount. So I believe this one is on a, what it is. So it typically is $63 and I think right now it's like, I don't know, 56 or something, I think. Um, so check it out. Um, also the big one, which is what, like 120, no, 130 right now it's 117. Now, what is really cool about the big one is that if you have been thinking about that starter kit, which like I said, uh, it's always a great deal. Um, so you can get it under your, uh, starter kit and only pay $99 because it is 117 right now. So and if you remember, the starter kit is 125. So right now you can add the big cut and embossed machine, which I, if you don't have it, I highly recommend you have it. Um, Cause you know, we always embose, we always um, cut out bigger things. So it's a great tool to have. And that one is right now 117. So you can add it to your starter kit and something else. Cause again, you add, um, you can pick up to $125 of whatever you want and only pay $99. Um, you also get a pass kit of the paper pumpkin. That one, you don't know which one it is. It's whatever Stampin' Up! send you, um, but it is free, right? With your starter kit. So it is a great deal. Um, once you have the starter kit, of course, as always, there's no commitment. And all it is, um, you get your at least 20% discount on all your future purchases. So it is a good deal. You can try it out. And of course, when you buy it, you become part of our team. So, um, which we have lots of fun. We have team gatherings, team swaps. Um, we have recognition and I share all my tutorials for free with my team. So any classes that I have, um, or all my classes that I have, um, pretty much go uh, to my team for free. So, I think you can give it a try. And again, if you don't like it, you just drop and nothing happens. There's no penalties, no hard feelings, you know, nothing. So it's a good deal to give it a try and then get a discount on your supplies. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to give you more information. You can also go to my blog at creatingwithali.com. And there is a page that is called Join My Team. And you can read all the perks of being a demonstrator as well as being on my team. So anyway, so for this one, like I mentioned, I'm going to cut out these pieces. So let me just... Oh, okay, I'm going to do it from here. And from here. So anyway, all to say, it's great to have that embossing machine. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that one right there. And uh, we'll see. We'll hope I don't get that bad inky, not inky, um, but the sticky fingers. This is the only, oh, I'm going to have, yeah, I'm going to have a sticky fingers for sure. Cause I just touched that thing. <laughs> like I said, I almost never use this one mainly because I end up with 
sticky fingers every single time. It never fails. Um, all right, now that I have that one, I'm going to go ahead and put just one, one here and one there. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it right there. Hola, gordita. I'll put this one right here for a second. Hi, Susan. And then I'm going to put this ones. I'm going to offset them so that I can see the white from the lifeguard preserve. Is that right? <laughs> and I just need a little bit here and a little bit there. See. All right. And we're going to go ahead and have this one come this way. Okay. Um, then the next thing is, I'm going to put now this one here. I'm going to go ahead and have this. And I'm just going to... So, all right, and then this one, I'm going to put it like right here, okay? So, it's like halfway there. So, this is how it looks, right? Let's just have these. All right, so now I'm gonna put this one something else. So now the first thing then is I'm gonna go ahead and add adhesive here. Ooh, where's my adhesive? Oh my, oh here, I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, where is adhesive? And I'm gonna go ahead and have a little bit of this showing up. And I'm gonna put this one in a way Right, I'm gonna go first with this one. Oh, oh goodness gracious, something happened. So I might need to, let me get another one. Um, because my glue got all messed up and I don't wanna be dealing with it right now, you know? Let's just change. Let's just change for right now. Like I know I can fix the other one, but I don't wanna take too much time. All right, so I'm gonna be adding this one somewhere here, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the next one. And again, these are from the Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper. But you can easily change this to any other paper. Like, I think you can use the Full of Life, you know, because it kind of has kind of the same vibe. Um, just brighter colors. So I think it will be great. Um, and then as far as this, we're going to go ahead and bring our Pierce mat. And we're going to go ahead and put our sentiment. And like I said, I think I want to have... Yes, wishing you a beautiful day, which this will be like um, um, just because type of card, right? Not a special occasion, but you can also use the happy birthday one, you know? So that could also be. So I'm going to go ahead and have that one. Same. And then, ooh, do I have my chamois here, by the way? Uh, I need the chamois. Well, hold on. Well, let's worry about it in a second. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to go ahead and use crumb cake. And like I said, I want to have... I 
I don't like that. I don't think I need another one right there. Well, maybe I could. There you go. You know? So you have a little bit of uh, um, shells right there. Okay. Um, let me check one thing. I am going to be needing... Um, hmm. Where did I leave the chamois? Um, well... Well, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. I'm like... Because I know I'm going to be using a different color on a different car. So I was like, where did I leave it? And now it's like, where did I put the stamp set? Oh my goodness. Like, I'm losing everything in a second. Oh, here. I was like, it was right here. <laughs> All right. So we have that. And so let's just start thinking about this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one, like, right here. And then I'm thinking I should have like this one come here and then the palm trees right there, right? I'm thinking. Um, I might need to glue this one first. Let's just glue this one first. There we go. And then for a second, let me put first the palm trees. So I want to have one here. Doo -doo -doo. Maybe I'll go this way first. Now for these ones, I do have to kind of know I'm gonna go a little bit below. Ooh, I like that. And then I can have a little bit of a, oh yes, see that? Mm-hmm. All right, so I do like how they look. So let me put this one first. See, so you kind of have to be laying things first and see how you want it. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a glue dot for this for right now. Or no. Hold on. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm going to need this one. Okay. See, and I'm gonna end up with sticky fingers again, I'm sure. Okay. Okay. All right, now for this one though, I do want like a dimensional. Wait, what do I do with my dimensionals? Hmm. <laughs> All right, somewhere here, here. I'm like, somewhere here I know I have dimensional, so. I'm gonna go ahead and add one of those for right now. Cause I want that one come here. Same, and something like this, right? I could have this one come here, this way. And then have this one come right there, yes. Okay, so let's put this one. Ooh.
So I have that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this one right here. And I'm gonna be putting here like underneath. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this one with the this glue. Now I could have also, you know, added the adhesive sheet to the whole thing, right? To all of the different pieces. But like I said, they didn't think this through too well before cutting all these pieces. All right, so uh, this is where it gets. Oh my goodness, I already feel. Okay. So now, the last thing, just to finish things up. Oh, 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 hold on. You know, we want to have, um, I thought it would be good to have one of these little, what is this, seagull, right? Maybe? <laughs> I think it is, right? I think. Oh, thank you, girl. So, Memento Ink. And you know what? Let's cut out, like, several of them. Let's just go crazy with that um, and cut them out let me just and this is just our chamois love using our chamois um, so let's cut out this one with see I could use the grass for something else here in the next cart but um, this one um, we're gonna go ahead and cut out this one. Um, where is this thing? Here. I'm like, where is my thigh set? So I can go ahead and I use um, like tabs. You can use also a sticky notes um, to cut out. Um, to adhere your uh, dye, especially when you have already a stamp or a color, right? So that way you can have them, right? And they're not moving around. You just need to line them up nicely and then cut it out. So we're gonna cut this out. Most of the times I already have all these pieces done Mainly because I don't want you to be, you know, watching how I cut out every single one of them. But for this one, I think it's, um, we'll have to do it. Because I do think like, oh, I didn't put this thing correctly. Oh, oh, and by the way, um, the glass mount came back. So right now it's available for demonstrators um, again. But I believe in July, it will be released to customers. So if you like the glass mount, which is the one that I have underneath my machine, um, you might want to order it. So stay tuned in July, because it will be released again. Uh, it will be released now as a purchase to customers. And um, it is $60. I think back in celebration, this was the mat that you will get, that you we're getting free, so now you can purchase it, and it is sixty dollars uh, to get it. So, we, I know Stampin' Up heard from a lot of people saying they still want it, they didn't get it, they didn't get the starter kit, and even from demonstrators, right? Um, and so, because it was very popular, so now it's gonna come back. So, if you want to have this one, it will come back in July. I think July second, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong with the exact date, but. It will be, it will be available for customers too. So anyway, so now that I have this, see, I can have one of these right there. See how it looks kind of cool? And I might even have two, I don't know. 
No, I think with one is fine. Uh, that way I even have more for all our cars. Okay, so what do we do? So we're going to go ahead and add this one. All right, the next thing is, I thought of using these ones, you know? Uh, these are just gems. Now, these are from the um, online exclusive, and it is called the Shiny Sequence, so adhesive bag, shiny adhesives. And these, they came out right when the Simply Senia bundle came out, as well as the Senia something, I don't remember the name of the suite. Um, and then they ran out immediately, <laughs> almost as it got released. So um, I'm gonna put it here. So it has a little something, something here on the, this tab. There you go. Um, and now there, there are bags, so there you go. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this, but you can add as many as you want. But I thought, why not add some of these? I think it's a fun color. So anyway, so here you have it. So this is card number one, and I think it looks really nice, don't you think? Okay, so for card number two, um, I'm again using the same paper, which is the, what did I say? The Bright and Beautiful. Now, as you can see, I already stamped the surfboards, one in Melon Bamboo on Melon Bamboo paper, and then Daffodil Delight the Light on Daffodil Delight the Light uh, car stock. Thank you, Sherry. I'm glad you like it. Um, I show you how to assemble those. This one already, already glue it down. But this is Granny Apple Green with Pecan Pie. And this is Lemon Lime Twist and Pecan Pie for this. And I show you at the beginning of the video how to do that one. Oh, you know what? See this one? I actually colored this with the Great Granite. So you can add a little bit of Great Granite to your uh, seagull as well. Uh, so I have that one. I have a piece that is, where is my ruler? Well, mm. all right, so let's get another ruler because I don't know what I did with the other one. It's somewhere here, I'm sure. So this one is one by three and three quarters. And um, my car base is Misty Moonlight, eight and a half by five and a half. I have a piece of um, basic white, and this is four by five and a quarter. Then a piece of the designer series paper. And I love this one because it kind of looked like the C in my head. I was like, oh, that looks like the C. So this one is two and a half by five and a quarter. And then I have two scraps of, or a strips of the Misty Moonlight. And these are half an inch by five. It should be five and a quarter. I think it's like five and a half, which I'm going to be trimming whatever excess I have. Now, this is a great tip for you. Like if you have, especially when you're cutting your paper, sometimes you end up with these long strips of half inches. So you can use this one to add a border, right? Um, and... Um, and not have the full piece. Now, if you want, you can put a whole piece that would be like two and three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter. However, um, however, uh, you can see it's only showing these pieces so you might be using a little scrap and be good with it. <laughs> Plus is watching you with this, <laughs> with this bundle, believe will get me in trouble. I told myself I don't need this one. Oh my goodness, no, you do need this one. <laughs> it is a great one. And like I said, especially if you have friends in the beach, I think this will be great. Or um, also if you have friends that have birthdays during, uh, you know, July, August, I think it's a great one. And like I said, there is a stamp set that says happy birthday. I do want to have, uh, I do want to have like just because type of cars because I never have those on hand, <laughs> believe it or not. So I was like, no, I really need that. But, um, oh, let me put the ruler back because in a second I'll be like, where is the ruler? I already lost one. Oh, here it is. See, I already found one. And I already found the second one. Because I'm always losing everything in the middle of the video. So anyway, so yeah, you do need it. Definitely, Flo, you do need it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and glue this one. And, um, and like I said, I actually got it... Um, before but just now i start playing with it because i think i got it when it was like not summer time frame and i was like it's a great one but i wasn't feeling in the mood of doing those oh by the way 
um, talking about different seasons and not being in the season. So in July, I'm going to release my first stamp stack for Christmas in July. So stay tuned. We've got, um, there are different uh, new sets on our online exclusives for demonstrators, which it's going to be available for customers starting July. And of course, there's going to be now, there are on that new release, um, items for Christmas and there is a particular suite that looks amazing which I can resist so I um I am going to be starting my program again of Christmas in July with the stamp stacks and if you're not familiar with this this is where I do a stamp stack every month so you get 12 cards is that right yeah three cards of each of the different um designs I have three designs four uh three cards of four different designs and um so it's gonna go here and um when you finish or when you do when you do the whole thing right you have 60 cards at the end of the program so it is one of the favorite ones so definitely stay tuned because it's coming so now this one i thought how cool would it be if i put it like on the side, right? Because I still have these white areas and I have a long sentiment. Now, I could easily make this one happy birthday because like I said, there is, on this set, there's the one that says happy birthday. So I could easily have this one as happy birthday. However, I'm gonna go with just because, because I think it will be great. And so I'm just putting this one. And you know what? I'm gonna put it on there. So if for whatever reason, I have an issue, I'm not staining the front, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and use what is this called? Misty Moonlight on Misty on um, on this card, right? So I'm using that. So let me go ahead and put this one here and accommodate because I want to see where this go, right? So I already clean it out, and I'm gonna put here wishing you beautiful day so anyway so stay tuned uh for those stamp stacks because like how beautiful this looks right and different i think um because yeah i just love those and it goes for five months is that right five months yeah so you like through november i think it is right so and like i said this is one of my most favorite uh type of classes i guess right because um, everyone starts getting ready for the holidays. I do the design and you just enjoy every month a kid um, where you're making, uh, what did I say, 12 cars. Is that right? Is that 60 cars out of five? I think it is. I might be doing wrong math, but I think it is. <laughs> um, by the way... Um, I think I forgot to update the picture on the card club using this set. However, the tutorial, it's already available on my store. Okay, so the trailers, are, which is rare because typically I'm taking a little bit longer. But this time I went ahead and have my act together and finish on time. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's now available. You just go to creatingwithali.com forward slash uh, shop and um, you can see the tutorials that I have to store uh, to uh, on my store now it will be for the cart club in July all right so now this one what am I doing here oh I need another blog I need another blog um, um where is the stamp set oh goodness gracious did we lose now the stamp set I think we did lose the stamp set. Did I not show it a second ago where I told you um, the sentiments? I thought I did. Oh, here it is. Oh, goodness. I'm like, did I not? See, there's a little castle. So why not using that one? I think that one would be nice as well. Ooh, can I put it here? Oh, maybe I do. Like, maybe I put it somewhere here, and then I'll continue adding. There you go. Oh, look at that. 
beautifully. All right, so now, let's look at this. So I have this, and then, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have this. Where is the, oh, should I put the grass maybe? Like, you know, the grass is somewhere. Here, hiding them. Ooh, maybe. And then I wanna kinda show like this is super tall, even though, okay, so I need to move this one slightly to the left. There we go. And then have this one come this way. Oh, I like this. Look at this. It looks nice, right? So I'm going to go with that. Okay, so let's... So I kind of like how this one looks. Oh. See, so you just play with the... <clears throat> with your... Um, how do you say it? Layout, you know? And you know what? I do like how the gray granite looks. So let me bring the um, gray granite. Okay, let's see. I think it's this one, like gray granite. Because I might do the same for the other card too, right? I might have two of these. And for this one, the only thing that we're going to be doing is if I remember what I did. Yeah, so you just need to add the wing, the other wing, and a little bit here. Oh, yes. Hold on. Let's do that on the other one because I didn't do that. And it looks much better. Oh, look at this. See that? It looks nicer. All right, so I have those. Let's do that so that I have them ready because it's, it's going to bug me. All right, and then this one. Uh, there we go. They're done. See something quick and easy for those. Because I'm like, it's bugging you. All right, so now let's glue this onto our cart so that now we have the whole thing ready to go. All right, so, oh, here's the hose good. <laughs> um, okay, so see, I'm gonna have that one right here. And see how it kind of gives the C, you know, kind of, right? So now for these ones, I'm gonna go ahead, put it like so, and again, uh, this is gonna be the one that is kind of driving it. Mm. So I need to go this way, because I wanna make sure this one is there. Okay, so for this one, let's add a little bit of This adhesive. Uh. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and add that one maybe right here. Or maybe right there. And I'm going to have this one come slightly taller. Oh, yes. Yes, okay. Yes, okay.
Okay. And then for this one, yes. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and add dimensionals, right? I'm like, where are they? Dimensionals. Oh, here. I'm like, what do you do with it? Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add this one flat. I think this one have to be flat because I wanna add this one right there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one and see, this is what you want to Okay, and I'm waiting a little bit, and then I'm going to have, oh, there you go, it kind of looks nice that way too, and then half the grass there. Okay, and I'm holding it, and then I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Hmm. And then I can have one right here and one right there. Whoa, yes. Oh, yes, it kind of looks nice, I think. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I'm glad you are liking them. And you can see they're really easy, right? Like the the big thing is just get your pieces uh, cut out, the stamp cut out, and then just playing with the sketches, right? I'll show you here which card I use for inspiration on this one. You're gonna be like, wait, what? Let me show you in a second here. I think I have it right here handy. Um, okay. So now once I have that, of course, let's add some of the sequence. By the way, I didn't say this, but. Um, so when you purchase with me using the host code, uh, with $35, you get the card kit, just all the pieces to, to use it. But, uh, if your order is $50, then you're going to get a, a full pack of the shiny sequins, uh, for you on top, you know, of the kit. Um, so anyway, so for this one, uh, maybe we can have like, uh, maybe I'll go with the pink ones, the pink ones. Yeah. Why not? There you go. And again, you can go crazy and put as many as you want, but I feel like, because you're going to be getting a full pack. But here is, see how beautiful this looks? Now, let me show you the inspiration for this one. So, this one was part of, look at this. <laughs> so, I went and used this one as my inspiration, which I know is kind of crazy, but it is. It is the same card, pretty much. You can see it's tone on tone this part right and then instead of doing this cow right i went with this now i didn't want to put a whole label because i wanted to have the uh designer series paper kind of like the c right so it looks like water yeah it absolutely um yeah so that's how it looks how about that fairly easy right so anyway so the next one the next one is and that one i don't know what we're going to be using, whether I go with the, with the house or this one, because originally I only have these two. And again, I'm using the ones that I have from the cart kit from the, um, what am I saying here? 
the car club. So this one is pumpkin pie on pumpkin pie car stock. And this one is coastal cabana on coastal cabana uh, car stock. And then you just die cut it. So you just stamp it on the same color and then die cut it. Okay. Same thing as the other one. We have those pieces. The only change on this one is that now this one is yellow instead of the blue. Um, I wanted to bring that and then, but it's the same, right? So let's assemble those parts. Now, let me, before we go there, let me give you these pieces. So for this one, um, uh, I have a uh, Knight of Navy, right? And then I have a piece of designer series paper. And this one is, uh, three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And I have a piece of cardstock, a basic white, and this one is three and three quarters by five. Now, the designer series paper, like I said at the beginning, is from the Mediterranean Blooms, as you can see. But I love that I had a blue pattern, and I thought this one was going to work perfectly for what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this already down. Um, as always, fold this in half. <clears throat> Use your bone folder. We're going to glue these. So just use whatever blue designer to spell. All I'm trying to say is like, see, this is not related to beach. However, you know, the blue works perfectly. So just think of your designer series paper that way. You might already have paper in your stash, you know, that could go really well. Right? So, um, yeah, because I was like, oh, I wish we have something that really goes with this. Um the um the bundle and i've been having fun just pairing it with lots of different paper <laughs> so it's all good especially when i started doing the um designing for the cart club i was like what am i gonna use? because i did it i did want to have something base related for um the summer cart club right i thought well that would be great if we do that but then i was like what designer series paper and the full of life is so bright that i'm like that has to be something related to summer which i love that all right now we have um the largest of the circles from the stylish shapes the stylish shapes is that right um in crumb cake and then i have a two inch uh circle and this is just a punch that i have I don't rem I don't know. I think it's still available. I think it's not retired, but you just need a circle. And it, even if it is smaller than this, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that we're going to be stamping the sending sunshine your way, right? So that's all that matters. And in fact, it might be better if I have like a smaller, now that I said that, maybe I need the smaller circle from the uh, stylish shapes. Not that I said that. It might be better. I feel like it's too large now. Um, hold on. Let me see if I have my set and maybe we just die cut it. Let's do that. Maybe I do die cut this, you know, because I feel like it's too large. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Which one would it be? Um, I think this one will be okay. Um. Uh, so from the smallest to the largest ones, we're going with the third one. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So that one. See? We're going to make it work. Hold on. Hold on. Let's cut out this one. So no two, three, no, no circle punch. Let's use the stylish shapes. See, like, I really love you seeing the mini, you know? Um, I really do. It's just very handy. Now, I have it really close to me. I also use the large one the most, right? But when I am, like, right now, like, oh, let's change this, I think, like, the small one is always great for that. All right, so, let's go back. Let me put this one back because, of course, knowing me, we're going to lose it here in a second. And then I'll be like, where is it when I need it? So, dice. I think dice is the one thing that I try to be the most disciplined, if you will, you know, as far as not moving it or losing it. So, I'm going to go ahead and add the sending sunshine. And I will be stamping it with... Why don't we use... Um, 
You know what? We could use the Misty since I have it. It looks blue, right? I can go and bring the... Um, Oh, why don't we use the... No, no, no. Let's use blue. I think blue will be fine. Uh, you can also use the Knight of Navy. But, you know, like it will work well if you use the Misty. You know? All right. There you go. Yeah. It looks blue. It's good enough for me. Um... And it fits really nice on that one. So I'm glad I changed. Now, the two inch will have work as well, pretty well. So no issues there. All right. Now, for this one, though, like I said, let's assemble this. And then we'll figure out if we want this or that one. Because originally, I thought of doing something similar to, like, what we have on the, our last card. Like, something like so. And then have the palm trees. Let's just put this palm tree together, too. Uh, where is the glue dot here? Um... And then have the sentiment. Is that right? Yeah, this one. But. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. There you go. So I could have it like so. Right? And I have my sentiment. So if I have. So this is how I picture it. So let's see if this is not too big. And if so, then we can go with that one. Since this is going to be a little bit more of work <clears throat> than the other one. So now we're going to go ahead and cut out this. Now this is Mellow Mambo, that full of the light for the, what did we say? It was the life preserve is that right oh my goodness see see what i'm saying and um this was white then we're gonna go ahead and oh and this one the lifeguard um tower there we go. No, but this one, right? The, this is the life preserve. Is that right? <laughs> I think that's what we said it was. Oh, goodness gracious. Sticky fingers. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and add this one. Alrighty. Now we're going to go ahead and add it right there. And then let's add this for a second. All right. It's the same thing here. All right, so we need to, oh, we need to match this there. There you go. And then we're going to have it, I might put it here so I can have this here, or I can move things around. But yeah, let's just add it there. All right. Okay. So, so now that we have everything, let's see which one do we want to. Oh, we're going to be using that one in a second. So, option one is I can add this one here and maybe do a palm tree somewhere here. Oh, I think I like this one better already. Just because I can put this one right here and have that one. Ooh, I might only need, do we want two? 
Oh, I think I like that one better already. Oh my gosh, I hate that I have sticky fingers. Um, then have that one here. Maybe move this one more towards this side. Um, I do like that. And then I can have this one kind of there. And I have this one. Oh, see? Like, I have sticky fingers everywhere. Oh, and then I can have, like, the grass here. Oh, Ooh, I like that one. Forget about this. <laughs> I do like how it looks. I'm going to go with this. You know? I'm going to go with that, regardless. Uh, should I put some other grass there? I don't know. We'll think about the grass there. But I do like it. So let's go ahead. See? It was an easy one for me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and... Ooh, do we need to add some sort of... Maybe the seashells, just so that it looks like um, still in the sand. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put this like so. And... I'm gonna have, ooh, maybe we have, no, no, that's fine. That is fine. I'm gonna put it here. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Our lifeguard tower, same. There we go. Oh my goodness, please. I want to get more sticky fingers. All right, so we have that. Then we have one here and one there, right? I may have this one come here, which is great. Yes, I so like that. Now, for this one, um, let's add, might do this one with dimensionals and this one flat, maybe. Yeah. See? Sticky fingers. I'm going to have that one come here. So I will put in this one right there. Before I do that, yeah. This one, yes. Let me press a little bit more. Okay, and then go ahead and add that one right here. Yeah, 
I'm gonna put this one here. Oh, here. So let's put this one now. Let's hold it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add that one right there. Where is our dimensional? Oh. Oh, this one is just lightly oh. There we go. And then I'm going to have this one come here. Oh, I like that. I don't think I need that one. I don't think so. So I'm going to leave this one out. And like I said, I didn't add, yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. Um, okay, now this one, I will put dimensionals. I feel like this one, it's dimensionals. <clears throat> All right, and then of course we're going to be using these little guys. Ooh. Do we want it here? I don't know that this one kind of looks. He kind of gets lost da, da, da. I don't know that I like this one you know I'm gonna take one off and just leave the one here what do you think um I'm gonna leave it there then Oh, I'm glad you're liking them, Gail. Thank you so much. It says, um, the Knight of Navy White and Crumb Cake just make the same pop. Oh, yes. I thought, like I said, I think blue will look really well with any of them. Oh, thank you, Sonia. I'm glad you're liking it. All right, now that we have that, of course, let's add a little bit of these. Now, this one has some green, so why don't we just add some green tea? Why not, right? Like... Oh, or maybe some of these. Maybe this. Let's see. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That looks nicer. Oh, yes. There we go. And again, you can put as many as you want. When you purchase with me $50, you'll get a full pack. Um... And you're a kid. So anyway, so here are the cards from tonight. I really like them. And like I said, this is the feature uh, bundle for, for Card Club. So if you want to get five more ideas, um, you can either be on Card Club. Because it's going to feature this set, which you can see is really nice. And also, or if you want to get the tutorial, you can get it already at my store at creatingreality.com forward slash shop. Um, so anyway, let me know which one is your favorite. If I have to pick, I think I like the last one the most. I don't know why. I think um, I like that one a lot. Although the layout on this one looks really nice. So <clears throat> let me know which one is your favorite. That's like my favorite part. Just reading which one do you like the the most um oh sonia says the cars are gorgeous oh thank you so much sonia i'm glad you like them Flo says i give in you convince me i have to have this bundle yeah you do have to have this bundle those bright colors just make me so happy i know the bright colors always makes me happy always uh flo says uh she cannot pick a favorite one you love them all oh thank you angelie says the same love them all um, Sonia said, just can't choose, all gorgeous. Oh, thank you. So, okay, so no favorite this time, huh? <laughs> Angelique says the second one is your favorite. Yeah, you know what I love about this one? The sentiment. I think the layout, uh, I really like how it is. Uh, Sherry says, these are beautiful. Ali, love them. Oh, thank you. Um, and Kathy says also the one in the middle. So maybe this one is the favorite this time. 
Uh, Christine says, all three are very uplifting. Love the colors. Start to pick a favorite one tonight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, um, this set is a great one. And we didn't even go through, like, you could also color. See, like I have here. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I should be using one of these. Um, but you can um, make them in different colors, color them. Um, you can just use the sort words or the little sand area or you know you can be doing so many things with this set so i think it's a really um great set to have so anyway oh thank you thank you for all the <laughs> likes <laughs> girls love uh love all the first looks one like daytime second one sunset and the third one dusk oh oh that's a great way to put it huh they're all beautiful. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the hearts. Um, so, like I said, you can get the card kit to make these cards. You do have to have the bundle. Let me just tell you. I wouldn't be able to die cut everything for the class. So, everything that has to do, that is included in the bundle, you do have to have it. I cannot send stamp images or the die cuts, right? Just mainly because, you know, manpower. I don't have as much <laughs> uh, manpower for these. But, um... You need to have this, but everything else will be included. You will have the car stock as well as um, like these labels. I will cut out those <clears throat> for you. So anyway, but everything else, you just have the car stock. You'll have to stamp, die cut and assemble, but everything else will be there. Uh, same thing, designer shoes paper will be there as well. Uh, already cut out for you to assemble. So, um, but anyway, you can get the, like I said, you can get the car kit in the mail when you purchase with me using this host code. Orders need to go through june uh 15th which is the saturday and um <clears throat> what else am i saying here what else oh, oh, oh. and if your order is 50 dollars, then you also get uh, a kit uh not a kit a shiny sequence pack on your order all right so thank you so much um thank you thank you share says can just choose one um Flo says thanks ali for the great inspiration oh great thank you so much all right so i'll see you next week and have a good night Bye for now.